So what do you get when you cross one of my favorite phones of really ever in the HTC One? In stock Android, you get this guy, the HTC One Google Edition, ready to be unboxed and fondled with my fondling fingers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the HTC One Google Edition. So here we've got the HTC One Play Edition. The box looks very similar to what we saw with the HTC One Cares, except they've changed the picture. We've got that red stock Android background. I believe this is gonna be running 4.2.2. At least the Samsung Galaxy S4 Play Edition was. Um, so nothing else really new here. All the specs are exactly the same. The same Qualcomm Snapdragon 600, uh, 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, we've got a 32 gigabyte version. I believe that's the only storage capacity that it's going to come in. Everything else is exactly the same. Four ultra pixel camera. Uh, we do have boom sound on here, uh, which is sort of one of the HTC features that remain. But other than that, uh, it is stock Android through and through. I loved the HTC One, and I love stock Android. Um, so it'll be very fun to sort of put those two together uh, and see how it performs. So we got the plastic off this box. And I should say that both of these guys uh, are available now, uh, this and the Samsung Galaxy S4. I'll go ahead and pull that off. Uh, we've presented with the HTC One. Pull this out. Same phone, uh, push it off the side for just a minute, see what else we're going to have in the box. Uh, we've got the same stuff we had with the carrier versions. We've got a charging cable. We've got some uh, headphones with red sort of Beats earbuds on them. I've got a wall wart, SIM removal tool, and that is it. No battery uh, because the battery is built in and some uh, two HTC stickers to show your HTC love. Let's go ahead and take a look at the device. I've been using HTC one as my daily driver. Uh, and I've really liked Sense 5. It's actually one of the first carrier or manufacturer skins, rather, uh, that I've really uh, enjoyed using. Almost preferred over stock Android, but I'm really excited to take a look at this guy. Um, so there's how it looks like on the back. HTC, no carrier logo uh, either. Here's the AT&T version. Uh, they did a really nice job sort of keeping it very subtle, just that little AT&T globe down below. But other than that, no discernible differences here. Um, the same button layout. Uh, that we had on every other device. So you've got the volume rocker up and down, uh, back and home button, no menu button, much as you want to push that HTC, it's nothing. Uh, boom sounds a combination of the two speakers and some proprietary software. Um, still have Beats Audio here. Uh, you've got your charge and sync cable, microphone, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, power and lock button, uh, which is also a IR blaster, coincidentally enough. Um, let's go ahead and power this sucker on and take a look at stock Android on the HTC One. We good? All right, so here we are looking at stock Android on the HTC One. I haven't done anything here other than just really turn it on and tell it I don't want to put in my Google information right now. Let's take a look at the settings. We'll go ahead and open that sucker up. I know Google. So no carrier apps here uh, at all. Um, no Google Wallet support either, which is kind of interesting. Um, that didn't support it from a carrier versions, and I thought maybe it might support it here. Certainly it's got the NFC and capabilities for it, but no dice. We'll go to settings, scroll down to the bottom, about my phone. Android 4.2.2. Uh, I thought maybe 4.3 might sneak on this guy, but no dice. And you can tell there's no HTC Sense on here uh, at all. For those of you that were hoping that maybe they did something with that HTC logo, it is still just a button. Um, other than that, it is sort of stock Android as Google intended, nothing. Uh, giant here uh, to see. The story isn't the hardware though, obviously it's the software, unlocked bootloader and the rest. Uh, so I'm really excited to test this out uh, and see how if I prefer the stock Android version versus uh, the Sense 5 version. Anything you guys want to see, be sure to let us know. We'll do a full review, sort of recap uh, on everything. Um, it's kind of nice to see all the stock stuff here, including Photosphere. Uh, now on a HTC One, which you had never seen before. Uh, so anyway, guys, anything else in particular that you want to know, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Please give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.